how are you getting this powder? So, uh, should I tell you how it was banned and how I'm still getting it? But now it's banned officially? Yeah, so what happened was this last year, um, something was sent to the FDA. Um, there's a company called Metro International Biotech. Um, David Sinclair is part of the company. It's either his company or he's certainly on the head of the advisory board. This is a company that has a trial. They're studying a something similar to NMN. It's a slight variation on NMN. And it's an experimental drug. And the way the FDA works is if something has been is being explored as an experimental potential prescription drug or pharmaceutical compound. It cannot be sold as a supplement. Mm -hmm. So it's a question of what went in first. This was this happened a few years ago for something called NAC, N A C L C S T. Yeah. And NAC is still available despite it initially getting banned. And I'll tell you how it was rescued from that. So the FDA res decided to let N NAC stay on the market because many many people wrote letters to the FDA saying this is ridiculous this is a value and it was out as a supplement you can't do that so it, part of the reason I think it's healthy to have this conversation is to understand how this stuff happens NMN could soon be a prescription drug that you can only get with a prescription and then I think Metro International Biotech will likely hold the patent um, if people are interested in certain compounds remaining on market they should definitely write to the FDA the FDA as much as that's a mysterious you know big stone block kind of company, I think they listen when things happen in large volume. And so I'm certainly going to write letters. And I think that keeping NMN on the market as a supplement would be wonderful.